has a review of a show that shares some of those qualities. <laughs> there is love, there is sex, and there is loss. Roma has a look at the York Theatre Company's After the Fair. Roma? Oh, but how different these shows are. Thank you, Sharon. Well, don't be fooled by the Rodgers and Hammerstein sounding title. After the Fair is no lighthearted musical romp. This adaptation of a Thomas Hardy short story might better be titled After the Affair. Said in Victorian times, the show's creative team has crafted an intense and well-orchestrated work that puts a novel twist on the Cyrano tale of mistaken love and mixed identity. Edith is the sort of repressed Victorian woman typical in 19th century literature. She's married to a stuffed shirt and yearns desperately to break free. Her housemaid, Anna, takes off one day to go to the local fair and strikes up a relationship with a dashing young barrister. They go for a quick roll in the hay and swear eternal love. And then come the love letters. He writes to her, but she's illiterate. So she engages her mistress, Edith, to take over the writing chores for her. And being smitten herself, Edith jumps at the task, body, heart, and soul. Let's see. Unwittingly, it's Edith the suitor falls for, and it all ends rather sadly and sweetly. The musical is a lovely, polished gem, small and intimate with just the four characters. Lyricist and book writer Stephen Cole has beautifully captured the stifling repressiveness of the era, and yet he allows us ample glimpses of his characters' tightly bound hearts. We feel for these people, and even at times, feel like them. Composer Matthew Ward integrates the tunes nicely into the plot, and though lush, his compositions aren't the sort you hum out the theater. Leading the fine cast is Michelle Pauk, so effective as the hooker tenant in Cabaret, she now plays the opposite here. Her wrenching struggle between duty and heart makes for high drama. Jennifer Peach, fresh from appearing in Broadway's Titanic, displays a gritty exuberance in both singing and acting that's infectious. James Ludwig keeps you guessing as the cad who does the right thing, and the buttoned-up hubby David Stoller handles his end with a kind of poignant stiffness. But how swiftly joy was done. Have a drink and bury your son. Director Travis L. Stockley does a fine job plumbing the work for its bittersweet edge, and he pulls it all together nicely. After the Fair is an engaging and breezy stop on a very hot summer. Sharon. Thank you, Rama. It's time for a break now. When we return... It's exciting.